over it. So, all right. So, like I just said, um, this is a presentation for you guys um, that I put together. It's a marketing one sheeter checklist. And um, again, my name is Alex Page. I work at the corporate office and, um, well, currently at home at my kitchen countertop. Um, but I'm, I'm the luxury marketing manager for the brand and I work at the corporate marketing team. My primary role, one of the hats that I wear, but primarily is I manage the luxury um, affiliates for the, for the company. Um, I also manage our social media, a lot of our events. Um, I do, I, I wear a lot of hats, as I said, so, but, um, you know, that's a compliment and I enjoy it and um, it's my pleasure. So let's go ahead and dive in. Hang on a second. There we go. Don't get difficult now. There we go. All right. So this first slide here really is just going to talk about just a handful of the things that we offer as a company um, that you may or may not know about. Um, you know, a lot of these these uh, resources are available to you, and um, you know, are such a great program and, and resource that are underutilized. I can tell you that. From a company standpoint and from my personal opinion, you know, we offer more resources than any other company in, in, in our market. And that's, I'm not paid to say that. I'm not asked to say that. That's just the general truth. And um, I, I feel like sometimes, you know, agents get overwhelmed with these different resources and, you know, don't understand them and shy away from them and, you know, wind up, you know, not getting, not, not really getting the, the, the visibility that they need and um, the presence they deserve. So um, we have agent websites for, for you know available to you guys. We pay a lot of money for SEO. So I encourage you guys to really go into that, the agent website and build it out, add a great bio to it, uh, your social media handles, add your testimonials to it, start up a blog, uh, unlock the blog feature, start to blog on that. A lot of you guys um, you know have our bloggers and like to gather information and push it out there through to your sphere of influence. I can tell you that going through harrynorman.com specifically for your blog site and your website, um, we pay a lot, like I said, we pay a lot of money for SEO, which means that is search engine optimization, which means where you rank on search engines when you type in certain hot words like real estate, Atlanta real estate, luxury real estate, whatever. Uh, we may not always be at the top because there are um, larger firms, you know, like Zillow and Truly and Redfin that pay millions of dollars a month for that. So we more than likely will never be above them. However, we do rank in the top top part of the page on the first page, which means that all of your information is visible. And blogging especially is really important for um, helping your specific page to, to get better, better traction online. Um, we syndicate our listings automatically to thousands of websites far and beyond our luxury affiliates. Uh, those are available for you in um, the Luxury Toolkit, Toolkit CMA, both of them, to look at and know what those websites are and understand that, you know, if you're going up against other agents and other firms, that their company may not pay to send a feed through to Zillow and Trulia and Redfin like we do. So, of course, the content and the information is going to be incorrect. We want our clients to be represented appropriately, which is why we pay to send a feed to those firms so that they're correct. Um, we have a new listings automated email that goes out. We have a new program called InstaList that will be launching within two weeks that I hear is really going to be fabulous for coming soon listings. So look into that in the details and get set up for that. Um, our mobile app is great. I walk around, my husband and I walk around our neighborhoods every night for about six to seven miles. And we don't go to events and parties anymore. So what we do is we walk. And we see our different markets and areas. So um, one thing I do use is our mobile app because I like to know what's for sale and what's going on and the prices and, you know, the inside of these homes look like. So the app is great. Text it to your clients and get them signed up. It's branded to you. So your information is, is the top of mind for them while they're driving around or walking around. Um, we've got uh, this cool new program called Mia, which is, um, from what I have seen, has been well received and is, is doing really well. It's great. Um, get in there and figure that out and, and play around with it. CRM campaigns are good. There's a lot of content in our CRM. Um, one thing that I fight for for you guys, I have for years, is negotiated rates in for advertising. Um, Atlanta Homes and Lifestyles, the Modern Luxury Publications, 
Simply Buckhead, you've got Veranda, Garden and Gun, Northside Neighbor, um, you've got lifestyle publications, um, digital, print. I've put together an advertising guide for you guys for those prices. Those are fabulous. Go in there and look and um, start to jot down some dates of some publications and, and um, be aware of what those are. I will tell you as a rule of thumb, just know that advertising in print is usually a two to three month lead time out. So for example, we've already closed on our June and July issues for print for hard magazines. N newspapers a little bit more frequent, so that's not quite as, as far out. And then digital is even closer to date because of it, just the nature of, of that type of platform. So don't promise your clients you're gonna do something and then wind up missing the dates because you didn't know what they were. Social media, we have, um, every office has an account and we have a corporate account that I like to feature properties on above certain price points that have notable features. We do a beautiful home magazine that if you don't know this, um, I've worked with Simply Buckhead Magazine to um, bind, well, belly band um, the home magazine to the cover of the Simply Buckhead's May issue. And that will be um, dropped off, 5,000 copies will be dropped off at uh, distribution areas like the St. Regis, Whole Foods of Buckhead, um, and some other some other high-end grocery stores, Savvy Provisions. Um, I've gotten them into Mercedes-Benz of Buckhead, Lexus, Porsche, Maserati, Bentley, um, a lot of really high-end, really qualified locations. So um, that's a really good for you guys to know and tell your clients, especially if you're in the magazine. That's um, really going to be cool. Um, one thing that you guys don't probably know about or do is pull traffic analytics for your listings off of the website, off of the, C off of the CRM. You got to know how your property is performing. Otherwise, you're just throwing in a, you know, spaghetti against the wall and not, and not really qualifying it. I think that um, it's very easy to pull those reports. You can pull them from our luxury affiliates as well. Um, very easy to, to do through Luxury Portfolio and LuxuryRealEstate.com. Look at those numbers. Those numbers can help you guys have those really uncomfortable conversations about price or about cleaning up the house and repaint, repainting and recarpeting or dropping the, you know, dropping the price, whatever that is. So pull those numbers. And then we do the company newsletter, which comes out once a month. And then I write the quarterly luxury newsletter. And I try to keep that really international and high end, high visibility, cool topics. Um, I think that it's well received. And so sign up your clients, go into the CRM and sign them up for that. So this is just a little short, a short list of some top things that I think you guys should be aware of. Some of you are on this call are already aware of them, doing them, kudos, teach your neighbors, um, but at least try to learn something new each month and try to really perfect your craft, okay? So this is the topic du jour. This is the marketing checklist that I put together and I broke it down into uh, tiers of price points. And as you see, we moved towards the right into the luxury million dollar plus. That's where all the meat and potatoes come into play where you get the bigger bang for your buck. However, that's not always the case. Um, that's just top items that I think you guys should be aware of and be put into your, your marketing plans when the listing goes live or you already have the listing. Just go through it and say, you know what, this could be a really cool um, project or resource to add to what I'm already doing. Uh, maybe my client doesn't know about this and remind them. So uh, we're gonna go through this sheet today. It's very small on this presentation because it's just a lot of content. Um, which is why I attached it to the presentation. So I encourage you guys to just uh, open it up, look at it, and we can go through it. I'm gonna go section by section of on price point from what Harry Norman does, then through our luxury affiliates. So like I said earlier, if you wanna ask a question, raise your hand. Um, I'll, um, I'll unmute you. You can talk to us live if you want, or just type out the question and I'll get it covered. All right, so let's move on. Okay, so the first tier we're gonna talk about is all price points. It's everybody, everybody, everything, all listings from your lower price points all the way up. Now, as we go through these different tiers of price points, you'll see that some of this uh, information repeats itself. That just is for you to be aware of that you, just because you've gone up in price point doesn't mean you've lost anything. I just wanted to uh, be able to include more in it, so I removed them or I repeated them. So, but like I said earlier, Harry Norman Realtors offers you more resources than any other firm in Atlanta, and that is the truth. I promise you, I would, I'm not saying that because someone 
Jenny's making me. It's the truth. We really, really do. And if I were to ever be a selling agent, I would go to Harry Norman. I would stay with Harry Norman simply because, A, I know all the resources, and B, because they're just, it's really fabulous. We've got so much support. All right. So automatically listed on harrynorman.com and syndicated websites. What does that mean? Well, once your listing goes into the MLS, if everything is filled out appropriately, you've got the right images and your listing person's doing their job correctly, the listings will automatically feed through to Harry Norman first, then it will go through to Redfin, Zillow, Trulia, so forth and so on to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other sites. Then it will go through to um, our luxury affiliates based upon if the listing meets the uh, price threshold criteria or not. Okay, so it's all automatic. Now, with that being said, sometimes we get busy and we just assume that technology is going to do its job and there's going to be no issues. I'm, gonna, I'm here to tell you that if you're really a good agent and you're really savvy and you really want to make sure that you're dotting all your I's and crossing your T's, you need to go and see where that listing is and make sure that everything is correct. I cannot tell you how many times an agent has you know, gone through the presentation, they've nailed it, they got the listing. Six months later, they said, hey, Alex, show me how to pull the traffic reports for Christie's or for luxury portfolio. I go in to the, to the, to the website to think it's going to take me all of three minutes to pull it for them, and there's no listing there. Well, why isn't there a listing there? Well, because something happened in the feed that it got lost. And so what has happened here now, what damage control we have to do is figure out how we can communicate to the, our clients why your listing has not been on Christie's internationalrealestate.com for six months. So don't get caught in those spots where you, 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 know, you make you damage a relationship, quite frankly, not doing your job. So uh, go in, look at those websites, learn where it is, make sure that it's in there, make sure it's correct. And then go in and enhance the information, check all the featured boxes, add video, add higher res images, add blueprints to the luxury affiliates, add virtual renderings of what a, a mass renovation or in, um, adding a pool would look like if you did that or virtual staging renderings. You know you can do that and that actually bumps up the, the performance on the, the listing and it gets it more visibility and quite frankly, it just looks better. It's just It just puts you a couple of head above the others in the market. Okay, if there's no questions on that, it's pretty straightforward. Let's go on to InstaList. I don't know a lot of, I don't know more than what I'm going to say about InstaList because it is new. I will say it's pretty straightforward from what I hear. It is as simple as an app on your phone that you put the pre listing information into if it were coming soon. And those that are on that program, it feeds through to them and lets them know it matches up your client's criteria with seller's criteria. It's basically a dating app for listings. And it is such a great way for, for those, uh, those agents at all price points that are pocket listers, that want some privacy, but want to sell the property. So look into that app and um, you've got more details to that to come over the next couple of weeks, but it seems pretty straightforward. So go ahead and download it, get it set up and get it ready, all right? Website traffic analytics we've talked about. You can run those through the CRM, very easy to do. You can post on, um, one thing I'd recommend is posting your listings. Now every office is different. I'm not gonna just make this statement and hang myself here, but I know that your marketing coordinators who I work with very closely, as well as your brokers, would love to feature your properties. They would love to show off what you guys are doing and selling, okay? So if you've got a, a gorgeous property that's a good price point, it's got some great features to it, um, post it on your personal pages, post it on, ask to see if you can post it on your office pages. And if it's um, really fantastic and it's got a story or a really sexy feature about it, send me an email and I'll see, it, look into posting it possibly on our corporate pages or even sending an email through to uh, Christie's or luxury portfolio. So I can help you guys with that. So um, think about social media. That's a whole different topic. I'm not going to get into that, but um, that is how you can connect your brand, your listings to the rest of the world. So take it serious and start to uh, build out a plan on that. All right. So highlighted here are some things that I want to really bold and bring to your attention. Um, send your clients and prospects copies of the home magazine. We print 20,000 of those. We have tons of them in your offices. They're available to you. And if you can't get to your offices right now, there's a digital link to the magazine on your website. What I recommend I, you guys do, and I, I've been teaching this 
to agents for years, is um, in the front cup, uh, back side cover of the magazine, put a one sheeter or a nice little oddly sized piece of paper that's kind of bound in there or stuck in there, whatever, with your business card possibly. Have a little letter that's a little introductory uh, note to them, a little bio about yourself if you're so inclined, and then say it in the bottom, if you're, you know, please consider this a complimentary, complimentary copy of the home magazine. If you are interested in receiving the next, this or the next issue of this, please email me your details. That is non-salesy. It is simply just a nice marketing initiative that, that, that people love. And you'll get a lot of, lot of feedback. I've actually touched base with, with agents over the years that have done this. And they've built upwards of 100 plus new clients that just wanted to get a copy of the home magazine. Now, let's not forget about Christie's or luxury portfolio or luxury real estate. I mean, those are also available for you too, but I want to talk about the home magazine and that's what I would do. And that's a good way to get uh, some, some warm leads. Um, you can also send in the digital copy as well if you want to reduce the footprint. Um, but I think that um, a nice table book is really, really has a whole, holds a nice weight to it. Um, Review print digital advertising opportunities and ad guide. I went over that earlier. I won't touch too deeply on that. All I can say is, is if you promise your clients you're going to advertise in a magazine and you wait till May or you wait till the end of May to do June, you've already missed those months and you aren't gonna, you're gonna miss those publications. And if the magazine happens to be uh, semi-annual or it's um, quarterly or it's annually, you really screwed up on that. So you really need to look at those different um, dates and deadlines because, for example, I just completed the proof for the Christie's magazine uh, a month ago that's coming out in the summertime. So we really had to forecast out for that. And actually, the, mag the, the listing, just to, just to talk about it, the listing in that magazine that's coming out isn't even on the market yet. They were just having to get it photographed early, let the clients get the house cleaned out, and then that listing will be live. So we had to make some adjustments to get in those magazines. All right. Talked about the website blog function. Those I cannot express to you how fabulous those are. Those are available to you. Use them. You've got content. We've got content on the Wazoo for you guys, either through the, the newsletters, through the CRM, through social media, through the affiliations of Christie's and Luxury Portfolio, Luxury Real Estate. Go and pull that content. Write a little intro statement about it. Add the link to the original article and let it feed through. Just as simple as that. You guys all have an opinion. Talk about the article and let, let them read the organic piece. Sign up your clients to receive the company newsletter. That's straightforward. Um, we have about 65,000, I think, that receive the company newsletter. The drop-off rate for that is actually really good. We don't have a lot of people that, that, um, uh, that unsubscribe, which means we're doing something right. So um, sign your clients up for that. I would be honored if you'd sign them up for the luxury newsletter. Um, that I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into that. And I'd love for you guys to sign them up for that. Um, I will tell you on that note, once you once the newsletter goes out, you have to manually send it. So go ahead and sign them up now so that the next one that comes out in a couple of months will go out, go out automatically. All right, uh, Mia. Mia's fabulous, Mia's automatic. It's great for you guys. It sets everything up for you. It is a, it is a bed to bag, grab and go really quick um, for those offices that are super busy and have marketing coordinators that are just working the pushing the clock. You've got to get um, marketing stuff out. Use Mia, it's fabulous. It's a great program, okay? And it's customizable uh, for social media, e-cards, print collateral, collateral, et cetera. All right, before I move on, are there any questions from my viewers on here? Any hands raised? Don't go silent on me. Don't go silent on me. I see not attentive. It tells me you guys aren't paying attention. You better not be watching TV. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's move on. Okay. Give me a second. All right. CRM, CRM resources, market insights, numbers, like I said, market insights are great for CRM. Um, open houses, you guys have open houses or virtual open houses. That's changed a little bit. The company newsletter, sign them up for that. Mayfair International Real Estate. That is our realty affiliation that we have over in London. Many of you have met them. I see Julie Altenbach is on this call. Sorry to call you out, Julie, but you've met our friends at Mayfair. We do still have an affiliation with them. Um, they are quarantined over there and kind of quiet, but they are fabulous. Um, the one thing they do and do very well are client letters. 
Um, if you want to send a client a, a pre-listing letter, considering listing, uh, considering you as an agent, or if you want to just send some customized letter about, you know, congratulations on your anniversary or for your kid, kids winning their soccer match, whatever it is, just to, just to send a nice note to them that's impressive from London, they'll do it for you, no questions asked, okay? Give them about three to five days to get that um, in from across the pond, but it will go to their house directly and they will follow up with you. You can follow up with your clients, you know, shortly thereafter. The one thing that they do that Annette from Mayfair says is cheeky and fabulous is they do window marketing. Um, it is old school, it's grassroots, but it works. Um, in London specifically, their, listing, their listings are a little handled a little differently over there. They do a lot of uh, grassroots marketing, print and window marketing. And in their storefront, it's right there in the heart of London. It's a nice center of London location. Um, they will, if you send them your listing, an image, a high-res image, the details, a link to it, whatever, they will print it out, frame it, and hang it in their window for a couple of weeks. The, the cheeky thing about that that they'll do that sounds sounds cheesy is they will take a picture of your listing in the window and they'll send it to your client or to you, and um, they're, they're, it, it, gets a, it holds a lot of weight. It's cute, um, but it works. Um, on that note, too, if you guys are ever over in London or have clients there in London, even our own Luke Trigwell uh, with the marketing team, he was over there a couple months back and they took him to tea and they talked about the program or they'll let you come and work out of their office if you need a place to work on an offer. Your, uh, their place is our place. So keep that in mind, use them as a resource. Feature opportunities, free, again, free. You've got a great listing. This is no price point, guys. They, they, they market our properties at all price points. You got a great listing, it has a story. You want some extra coverage? Um, send them the details. They they work. They broker with the different publications over there, whatever they may be. The one that I know off the top of my head is um, Country Life UK, and um, they will do. Um, they'll work with them on brokering some some feature, some added value for you guys. So shoot Kirsty or um, Annette an email, and they're happy to work with you on that. Okay. All right. Moving on to the premium tier. This is five hundred thousand dollars plus. All right. Same, the same things happen at the top here. Your listing automatically syndicates through to all of those websites. For this one specifically, now that you've hit the $500,000 price point, it goes through to luxuryrealestate.com. Um, that, that's the, our luxury affiliate website threshold. Um, you'll want to pop it into InstaList. That's, a, that's for that resource. You want to pull those website traffics through the CRM and now through luxuryrealestate.com. You want to pull those. I wouldn't pull them on a weekly basis. I would pull them monthly if they're looking good, but definitely quarterly. You want to let it build up a little bit of traffic and visibility before you start to send them. You want to really show some good numbers. And I feel like after three months, that's when you'll start to see a dip in the traffic if you don't do any adjustments. So um, use that to um, make your decisions on what your next moves are. Um, utilize the website and the blog function. That's important. Um, use the MIA program, get it set up, or get your marketing coordinator to build you out a little bit higher than higher than normal marketing um, creative and collateral for your for your um, your your listings. Then clients and prospects copies of the home magazine, drop them off at um, you know Whole Foods uh, and their in their um, their waiting. Area, I'm sorry, Whole Foods, uh, Mercedes Benz in Buckhead or Lexus or Jaguar. Wherever you go to get your car service, drop those off. Um, send clients copies of those if you've got their addresses. Um, you know, I will say the um, the freight or the shipping on those can be a little pricey to send them individually. It runs about six to seven dollars. But what is that really in the scheme of things when it comes to a cost? If you put a nice letter in there with the magazine, um, I think that that would definitely be appreciated. And it's part of the marketing budget. It should be. Um, you want to consider digital and digital and print property advertising options at this point. That is paid. Um, at five hundred thousand dollars, you really need to be you really need to be throwing an investment at these types of properties. Okay, whatever market you're in, whether it's a bucket condo at five hundred k or it's a, a large five bedroom home further up um, outside the perimeter, you need to be you need to be considering advertising options. Okay, um, invest in paid social media campaigns. Very easy to do, very affordable, not scary. Set up a business account on um, Facebook that has an advertising manager function to it. And add your American Express to it or whatever you want. Connect your Instagram account to that because Facebook owns Instagram. And then start to sponsor some content of a beautiful feature of the house. Like right now, 
The weather's been really good, a little chilly, but it's been good. You know, sharks show outdoor living areas and the swimming pool and the gardens. Um, and to keep your listings, if you have low followers and trying to build your followers, set a little campaign for five or ten dollars for a couple of days. I mean, from the company standpoint, we will advertise fifty to a hundred dollars for a couple of days, and it puts our message in front of in front of people. So um, very cheap to do, very easy to figure out. Um, the hardest part is just when to do it and what you want to post. So I would definitely encourage you guys really at all price points, but especially at $500,000 and above. If you want to grow your followers, you've got to really separate yourself from that. And then the cool thing about it too, which I like, why my Instagram, my personal account is um, a business account, is I like to see what people like about what I'm doing. I don't post a lot of real estate stuff because I'm not a seller, but I do post events and parties and travel and lifestyle things. And I like to know what people want to know uh, and people are interested in. So it's good to read the analytics once it's a business page to see what times of day my posts have trend, trended, um, who liked what, male, female, age groups in there. So I encourage you guys to really focus on social media. All right, any questions? Okay, top tools. I said you now have access at that threshold to luxuryrealestate.com. You get an agent profile on that page, which is fabulous. It automatically, well, it should automatically be set up for you as far as your name. It does not feed your bio information um, or your social media handles, certifications, service market areas. Um, but so you need to go and fill that out. And the reason why you need to fill that out is because if you don't, it'll be when people go to your agent goes to look for you, or they go to their listing on luxuryrealestate.com and they want to see what agent so-and-so, you know, click on their link, it'll bring up a blank page with nothing on it. And it'll show where there should be stuff and there's nothing on it. And my advice to you, this is what I, I've said for years before I was even in real estate and training, that if you can't market yourself, you can't market me. If you can't take the time to go in there and tell me a little bit about yourself, cut and paste, plug in your social handles, your certifications, market areas, testimonials, so forth and so on, then how are you going to take the time and really give me the attention that I need and just to buy and sell my property? So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Your marketing coordinator can get you the login credentials or you can always email Alex. Twitter, okay, this is a cool function that a lot of agents don't know about and don't do. Um, once your listing is on luxuryrealestate.com and your, your percentage, which means your, your completion of what your listing has featured like uh, we send over a lot of content and information like high-res images and uh, the, the copy for the, the, the listing. So the percentage is already going to be high, which means it's filled out. Once it's at a certain 70% completion level, you're able to post that property directly through to a luxury real estate Twitter page, which has, I think, 55,000 followers. And um, it'll give you a link. Save that link um, and you can share it with your client. And that's a value to that. There's a cash value to being featured on, on websites, websites like that. A value, like if I were to ask that, say, the Atlantan or Simply Buckhead or any of these magazines, those are just, Atlanta Homes Lifestyle is even more expensive, um, range from $350 to $800 to post on their, their walls. So you're getting that for, for no cost. So every seven days, go in there and post it. Just keep post it, post it, post it, share it. Um, that is a that is a high value free thing to do. They have a blog page on their website as well where you can go and blog. Some of our agents do it. It gets a lot of visibility. Um, go in there and add your testimonials. You get all of you get testimonials. I can't tell you how many uh, agents that that follow me or I follow them. And all I see on Facebook all day long is five star ratings. Take those and plug them into Luxury Real Estate. LuxuryRealEstate.com. Luxury Real Estate as a whole gets a lot of traffic because of its name. When people type in luxury real estate Atlanta, who do you think shows up? Luxuryrealestate.com and Harry Norman because of our relationship with them as Board of Regents members and um, founding members, really. Um, so that's why they get a lot of traffic through their site because of their name. It's a search engine um, trend is what it is. Digital property promotion packages, they offer those. Those aren't free. Um, they range from $249 to, I think, advertise an agent headshot on their website for a week or two at a time, upwards of little cube ads to larger banners to big jumbo ads. If you want to see what this looks like, 
go to luxuryrealestate.com today, like now, and go to their scrolling feature feed there. Um, I was able to get um, one of our agents listings on that big jumbo feature. Uh, uh, one of our $7.5 million listings is beautiful on Bowler. And, um, you know, they got that listing. It's, it's fabulous. And there's already, I pulled the trend reports for that this morning, and it's already getting over a thousand click-throughs on it. So it really does work. It just involves a little bit of time and a little bit of investment, okay? Are there any questions? I'm gonna keep asking you guys if there are questions because I want you to raise your hand and feel free to ask. Are we all still here? Okay, I don't see any questions. All right, well, let's go ahead and get on to the next page then on this, move along, get you to your weekend. Okay, so luxury real estate. Here are their Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest handles. If you're looking for content, go and follow their accounts. If you see beautiful properties all over the world, go in there and like and comment on those properties. They'll 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 look them up. They'll com comment back with you. They'll engage and they'll like your page. They'll share stuff. Um, that's a lot of visibility. They've got the bottom left corner there is the blog post. If their blogs look like. If you see there at the bottom, the bottom one there, Mr. Anthony Acosta blogs once a month or two on the, the page and uh, does a hyperlink back to either a building he's got li a listing in or a building he wants to sell out of and gets a ton of feed through traffic to his personal agent website. And um, he swears by that. He also hates that I'm telling other agents to do it because <laughs> it's kind of been his thing. But um, I encourage you guys to do it. Um, they do a great, uh, a great great job with their Twitter, as we said, and with their blog and their newsletter. So follow those. Great content um, and great options. Great, great resources through luxury real estate. Again, that price threshold is $500,000. Your listing will automatically feed through to it. Your, 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 your agent profile won't. So go in and set that up. Fill it out, okay? All right, moving on to luxury. This is where the meat is here. There's a lot of content. So if you wanna ask a question, um, please raise your hand and I'll stop and, 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 and we'll handle it, okay? All right, again, uh, like, like the other sites, your listings are included on all sites at a million dollars. So all of the, the partnerships that, that receive our, our data, our feeds, our syndicates, as you could call it, um, your listings will go live on those sites. Again, I'm gonna bring this up. Please go in and check your properties within a week. I would say if it goes live on a Monday, go in on Thursday and Friday to make sure that it's on the affiliate website, it's correct. And then go to the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, all of those syndicates, if you've got time, just to make sure that it's fed through. Um, I've seen some cases where um, the feed has gone through and something has happened and a different agent was placed on that listing than what was the actual listing agent. Um, it's no one's fault per se, it just happens and it's very easily fixed. But what you don't want is your client to see a different agent being listed on that when it's, when it's clearly they want to go with you. So um, I'll move on. InstaList, we talked about invest in a paid social media campaign. At this point, you need to have your Instagram page really rocking and rolling. Same with your Facebook. You need to be sharing those listings with your office, requesting that they post them onto their, their walls for whatever their calendars look like. And, and um, you know, my, my personal opinion, and this is an Instagram rule too, is why I'm gonna talk about Instagram. They want you to have 20% or less copy, wordage, verbiage on an image. So all of you that put those just listed, um, open houses, recently reduced, and has a lot of copy on that, Instagram does not like that. And you will not get, you won't be able to advertise if you have that on there, first of all, because they won't, they won't approve it. But second of all, you won't get good SEO. They want them to be, they, the premise of Instagram is organic. They want organic images. They want you running around all over the world, taking pictures of homes and lifestyles and food and cocktails and whatever. So they don't want a bunch of writing on that. That's why they gave you a caption with um, no maximum on characters. So put that in the copy about what you want to say. Keep the image clean, clear, concise, beautiful as it is intended. Um, as far as the copy goes, I'm going to tell you that no one's going to read it anyways for the most part. So put it in there, short, sweet, concise, to the point. Use hashtags that make sense. Don't make up crazy hashtags that are funny in your mind. Because the point of a hashtag is for someone to go in and 
who's searching for a hashtag like Atlanta or Atlanta Real Estate or Christie's or whatever to find your post. I fill my wedding venue by typing in Atlanta wedding venues in a hashtag. So make sure that it makes sense. Otherwise you've wasted your, your energy and you only get 30 characters max on hashtags. So invest in a paid social media campaign. I'll get off my soapbox. Utilize the luxury affiliates for social media content. That means follow them. Go to Christie's, go to Luxury Portfolio. They post gorgeous homes all over the world. Because we're partners with them, we are able to share those listings. Share one from a different uh, corner of the world every Tuesday. Do a Travel Tuesday theme where you post a beautiful home in Bora Bora or in Paris or in Sydney or wherever it is. And tag the, tag the affiliate, Christie's or Luxury Portfolio. Tag the firm of which it has that listed, which gives them credit. I guarantee you they will appreciate that. And also too, if they're looking for someone in Atlanta that's moving to work for Coca-Cola from their market, they're gonna remember that person has a, has, has a gorgeous Facebook and Instagram page. They're gonna remember you and they're gonna say, I know somebody and they're gonna, they're gonna reach out to you. It happens all the time. So take that, take that into consideration. H&R um, social media, I do a mansion Monday, every Monday. Um, I've dropped the threshold of price down. It was originally $2 million. It's down around one two fifty to one five, depending on the listing. I will tell you, I really only select properties or will, will post properties that are really extraordinary. So if the price point gets down to, to a lower, a much lower level, it's got to be really exceptional. High res images. Um, it's been really tough lately because a lot of our imagery have been from the from the winter time with dead grass and trees. So if you're going to send it to me, please give me a fresh, beautifully lush image for that so I can I can work with it. Um, because I really want to make sure that our company, Harry Norman Realtors, is staying beautiful, consistent, cohesive to go up against others in our market. So I have to really put a strong filter on that to make sure we're really representing ourselves well in the global market. Okay. So that's the parameters around that. If you have a question, just shoot me a text or an email and I'll give you a quick turnaround on that. All right. Advertising the home magazine. Okay. You guys at some point have heard of the home magazine, seen the home magazine. We've talked about it already. Place an ad. You've got three different price points, uh, half page, full page, double page spread. They're relatively affordable, especially since it's um, done twice a year, spring and fall. There's a long shelf life. If you break that out over, you know, six, eight months, that's nothing. You know, your clients love to be published. It's got a great distribution list. It's being bound to the Simply Bucket Home Magazine this go round, probably not again until, uh, you know, next spring, um, but those things may happen. So, you know, take advantage of that, all right? Advertise in luxury lifestyle and print publications, okay? So at this point at a million dollars, you need to be, you need to be advertising need to be uh, putting a spin towards it. So this is where you need to look. And, and I can't tell you how many agents text me or email me from different publications like Lifestyle Magazine or the InTown Magazine or um, City View Magazine or Buckhaven, these little publications that send them, I'll sell you a full page for $250 if you, you know, you, you know, you sign on right now. Well, just because it's on sale, this is a blanket statement, does not mean it's a good deal. And, um, you know, I will, I will encourage you to really look at their audience, who's receiving it, how they're receiving it. Is it digital? Is there digital, you know, what, who, what's the readership of it? Does it make sense? Who's their average age group and who's their, you know, where's it, where's it being distributed? Um, you know, 250 is a waste of money. If it, quite frankly, if it's a monthly publication, it's not going to anybody. Now, if it's, if it's a, like the Christie's ad, is quarterly, um, we supplement the rate, it's $2,600. We, we pay $1,000 um, for you guys to supplement it down. It's on the shelf for way longer than six months. It's way longer than even probably a year. I have every copy that's come out since I've been with the company, company because they're gorgeous and I reference them. But if you spread that out over a quarterly campaign and you look at that investment, it's nothing. And it's Christie's and it goes out to 42,500 um, subscribers in their Christie's both real estate and auction database, not to mention um, the Centurion Clubs, um, the Delta Sky Clubs all over the world. PDH gets them here, in, uh, PDK in Atlanta gets them. I get them, I send them down to the stadium, to Mercedes Benz, to Arthur Blank's private suite, down to um, the Hawks 
game, uh, Hawks Arena. So Christie's is fabulous. You know, look into that if you want to. Um, it is not as expensive as it sounds when you really value prop what you're getting out of it, okay? All right. Elevate your lifestyle property marketing collateral. Don't just give these little bitty brochures that are weak. Do a lifestyle book of gorgeous full page uh, um, side to side images. You don't need to put a whole bunch of copy on that, if anything at all. No one reads that. They can see what's in there. You want to drive them to the website to look at more details about, you know, what type of stone is on the floor or the countertops or, you know, the moldings or the, you know, the, the paneling or whatever. Make them big and beautiful or make them small and, and exceptional. Uh, Christie's has a luxury book that's, uh, you know, four by six or eight by ten. It's a very small book. It's filled with um, maybe 20 to 30 pages of just gorgeous imagery. And a little bit about yourself and about the property, a little history, um, but elevate your elevate what you're doing and create a digital version of that, which your marketing partner can do for you in a hot second. Um, they can flip those PDFs into a digital flip book where you can um, host that link in the newsletters, in your, you can put that in your email um, signature, you can put that on your social media, you can, you can email it to clients. Um, it's all about instant access, and the beautiful thing about digital marketing, two things, is that it is, it's quick and targeted, so you can change copy, move it around, it's going to a very selective audience, so you know they're getting it, not just hoping they pick it up. Second, you can read the traffic analytics about it, of who's actually picking it up, what they're doing with it, and understand the trends on that, okay? So, that is a really, really, really strong, um, both of those are good mediums to consider, okay? All right, invest in paid social media campaigns. I'm not gonna go over that. I killed that in the last one. So uh, really, really spend some time understanding social media, which platforms work, and then set a budget and understand how that, how that works, okay? All right, and then as far as listing consideration for PR coverage, uh, we hired a PR firm that is fabulous. I work with them um, on a very, very close basis. And, um, they uh, manage um, our media relations directly because we have a lot of contacts with that. Um, so that's important for you guys to um, send me your content and keep that, um, keep that ever present for me where I know what's going on. If you're doing good deeds because of, you know, through this COVID situation, you're donating your time to charity, you've got a listing that has a celebrity angle or it's got some, some, some beautiful feature to it that, that's notable and exotic, send me that information so I can, um, forward along to our PR team and let them um, and let them work with you on that. Um, you're able, I set up on the website, it's harrynorman.com backslash PR, or there's a, sl a flash um, on uh, my general office where you can go to a link that gives you the parameters that I'm looking for. You can upload images and you can um, very easily um, type in a little bio about the property and the links to it. So that's a good way to get it to me as well. Um, all right, so that's what I have for the luxury tier. I have a few more things. Are there any questions on here about any of this content? Anybody, anybody? Okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna move on. I've got, now we're gonna cover a little bit of the luxury affiliate stuff more specifically, so you guys can get um, a little bit closer idea of what they do for us, okay? And it's a slide to change. Oh, I think it's fine to me. All right, here we go. Oh, actually, you know, let's talk about this. This is great. Automatic listing syndication. I've been talking about that throughout the presentation. Now we can actually look at those websites of where your listings are being fed through to automatically. So once you're at the million dollar threshold, your listing automatically syn uh, syndicates through harrynorman.com. Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, Redfin, and so forth and so on. Um, it goes to the Christie's. Christie's will syndicate through to the Wall Street Journal, U, uh, US, Europe, Asia, India, New York Times, US, China, Mansion Global, English, Chinese, Spanish, Country Life UK, US, UK, Zalbao, Asia, PropGoLuxury.com. Um, so you've got all those websites that they're syndicate through, syndicating through to. Just to put this into perspective, this is the resources that Harry Norman has above and beyond others in our market is that if if an agent were to go with another firm that does not have a say christie's or luxury portfolio or luxury real estate affiliation they would not have access to these platforms other than 
paying to advertise on the Wall Street Journal. The Wall Street Journal to be in print is about $350 for a mansion, uh, the mansion section. To be on their digital site for a week is about $650 a week for a digital ad. Now, you're getting the, your listings on these websites through the lifetime of your listing. Now, they may pull them down for a week or two for um, optimization and for performance, but you're getting your listings on those various platforms um, through the lifetime of the listing. That is a huge value and quite frankly, value, a, a financial value for you because no one's gonna be able to afford to spend that kind of money on these websites. We do that for you automatically through our affiliations. That is the value right there. All right, Leading RE dropped their price threshold um, last year. So your listings are gonna be on all price points. That is our relocation division for the company. Your listings are all on those websites, which is good because um, relocation departments and people looking to move to different cities are going to Leading RE specifically because they're told to by their in-house counsel to do that and they'll find your listings. So um, that's great visibility. Um, we have we have over uh, I think 3,000 close relationships that we work with through relocation. So that's a big deal to discuss with your clients. Share that with them. Um, Mayfair, of course, they feed through to Country Life UK at a million dollars plus luxury portfolio. Here again, long list of of websites. Juwai.com. Uh, you may have heard me talk about this in other presentations. Juwai, the Chinese government has very strict strict restrictions and guidelines around real estate transactions and handling uh, North American and United States MLSs. And so juwai.com um, is the only website in the Chinese market that allows us to market our property. So if you go to juwai.com and you type in your MLS, you'll see your property pop up and it comes in 300 different languages. You can convert it into to, 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 to English, but um, great website. and um, that's a huge benefit over and above what um, other firms can do. So regents.com, that may sound a little familiar, but not so much. So because we are Board of Regents members, exclusive Board of Regents members through the luxury real estate uh, program, who's who in luxury real estate. Um, others may be members of that program, luxury real estate, but we're exclusive Board of Regents members, which means another website that gets a massive, massive SEO um, if your property's at a million dollars plus, your listing will be featured on regents.com. Now, there's nothing you can do as far as optimizing that on the back end. It's just a listing page. So whatever goes into the feed is what goes through to that. So I encourage you to look into the regents.com page just to make sure it's correct. Because if it's not, we'll have to go through uh, IT and whatever to make sure that it's corrected. So check it out. All of these websites, take some time, quick click. Go in, because I'm gonna tell you something, your clients are gonna be searching their properties late at night to see what you're doing. And the one thing you don't want them to do is find their listing with the wrong details on it or missing stuff or that crazy copy that they took a month to write. Uh, you wanna make sure that it's correct, it's the right one. So uh, I encourage you guys to go in there and uh, check up on your properties, make a list of them, and then send them, send them these links through um, your communications, all right? Luxury Portfolio International. Here are the, the social media handles on the left. Go in and follow all of them. They do a fabulous job with their, um, their social media. Um, like I said, you can grab their, grab their content and you can share it. It is really beautiful and it's definitely worth sharing. Um, they do a really great, um, I think it's monthly, Lux Trends newsletter, which just talks about, um, you know, either real estate, trends, fashion, shopping, travel, um, cool stuff that's going around the world. It's, it's, it's hot topics that's of, of a luxury nature. Um, you know, you gotta, they do, a, I think they do like a watch, a timepiece edition once a year. So if you know that that's coming up, share that with your, your timepiece guy or gal, whatever, um, sign them up for that. Um, their blog is wonderful. You can share that content on your blog if you want, just link it back to them so that it looks like you're giving them credit, citing the source. They do an annual luxury global outlook, which um, talks about global trends. They actually do that twice a year um, because the market's changing so quickly that it's worth an update twice a year. And then they do the luxury portfolio magazine. Now I bring that up because that magazine is not available for sale. It's only available through affiliation. So only you can get it to your clients. How can you get it to your clients? 
If you go into the Luxury Portfolio Exchange, you're able to sign up for clients for a complimentary subscription to the Luxury Portfolio Magazine, which will have a, um, a shipping sticker on it that has compliments of whomever, address, whatever. And then you'll get an email, I think two weeks after the subscription goes out, that says, hey, so-and-so received their copy. And that's when you give them a call or you shoot them an email or a text or whatever you do and say, hey, hey, Danny, I wanted to let you know, I sent you a magazine, I want to see if you got it. Um, I've got access, access to this program, you know, this magazine through my affiliations. And I just thought that you and Margie would love a copy of it since I know that you guys are design freaks and want to, um, you know, there's a good article in there about kitchen remodels or whatever. And um, it's just a nice freebie to give to your clients that, you know, if they don't always want to talk about marketing and real estate and, and stuff. They want to talk about fun stuff. So that's just a cool way to get in the door and you should sign them up for it. All right. Here's a couple more things that are top tools that they do that I would look into. They have co-op advertising opportunities that are fabulous. And um, some of them are, um, they're very affordable to do. And um, they, one thing that they do that I really love is the listing and agent online banner program. It's through AdWorks. And the listing one specifically, um, I think it's as low as $108 for a two week campaign. And what it does is it pulls your listing image off the luxury portfolio. You can add your listing, you can add your, Co-op logo, so if you have a logo, Harry Norman, a logo or your own, you can add that to it. It links back to the listing on Luxury Portfolio. And then what you can do, um, what, what, what's cool about it is you can drop a pin in, in a radius of 15 miles around a certain area, whether that's, you know, if you think the buyer is going to come from California or from Miami or from New York, or you think they're going to come from Buckhead up to Alpharetta, they want more space or vice versa. You can drop a pin around that market and really target that area. They send you analytic reports on it. And the one thing that I think is the best, the best part of the program is that if your clients have been looking at their listings on their, their property online specifically to see where it's been marketed, it will read their cookies and their search habits on, the, on that post. And they'll get a drop down box, drop down, pop up, pop in of, your list, of their listing and your information and that is golden. That is worth the $108 or whatever the price is. I think they just, they run specials all the time. So go in and look at that, subscribe to it. It's really, really fantastic. All right, magazine gift subscriptions. We've talked about that. I won't go into any further. They also offer another magazine that's also now local, Lux Interiors and Design Magazine. It comes out six times a year. You can subscribe your clients to six, a six time subscription for $10 a year. Uh, up to, I think, 25 um, clients. That is a great gift. I give those every year to my friends and family as holiday gifts because I get a subscription to it and I pay the $10 each. And that's, you know, it, those magazines, I believe the, the cover price is like $12.95. It's expensive. And, you know, you can give that, that, that high price magazine to your client. And that looks like you're investing in them for their leisure and their read. So look into that. That's a great program. Additional exposure, same with Harry Norman. They offer a link on their website where you can go in and submit your listings for feature, feature opportunities in their magazine, their blog, social media, syndicated publications, their website. Um, this is also where you go to submit your listing for HGTV's Ultimate House Hunt contest that just closed. Um, that's how listings get pulled for that and chosen for that. So it does work. We do get featured. Um, I can't tell you how many how many of our agents have been featured over the years by, by submitting that. So don't let that free opportunity um, go to waste, all right? Lux Analytics. Uh, these are beautiful reports you can pull that you can, you can really um, curate the, down to uh, different countries that these, these clients are coming from, province, um, city, state, language types, currency types, uh, male, female, age groups of who's looking at what. Uh, and it puts them into these beautiful pie graphs and number charts that um, that are really great to send to your clients. And you can adjust them that they, so that they read really nicely. So if the listing has actually not been trending well um, for a certain reason, you can adjust it up in certain areas just to make it represent really well. You'll also see the function to send it to your clients automatically. Don't do that. Um, you're gonna wanna get it sent to yourself and review it first because the last thing that you want is your client receiving it 
at 10 o'clock at night and it's got some bad numbers on it and you've not had a chance to see that or edit it and you don't want to um, pull a red eye trying to figure out how to make get them off the, the ledge because your listing their listing has not been doing really well so send it to yourself review it compile it with you know other analytics from harry norman from christie's from luxury portfolio luxury real estate and then send them a nice number sheet where you can take a nice median number of the traffic report and you can you can speak to it intelligently so they can understand it okay so that's the top tools for luxury portfolio Let's see oh i have got questions i have a question from lisa shimming um, I'm not referring to Lux VT yet, Lisa. I will be in just like two more slides, so hang on, okay? I, I appreciate that. Hang on just a second for that. All right, Christie's. This is our number one affiliation. It really does put us uh, hand in hand with our like, like our global competitors. Um, this is really a strong affiliation, and it's really important for you guys to know who they are, what they do, and how to speak to the program. This, of course, is not what we're going to cover today. I'm just going to give you the tools. Um, but Christie's does client letters for free, no cost to that. Um, I know several agents on this call specifically that do it, and um, I've had great feedback on it. They have a pre-written letter from Rick Mosier uh, for considering listing, considering an agent recently listed. Um, they, can, they can customize it to a degree, but it's, they're not going to write, rewrite the whole thing. Um, it comes from Palm, Palm Beach from Rick. And um, it's a great letter that just simply says that Christie's is here for you. They're here to support um, you as a client, the agent um, from a global standpoint. And um, it's a great letter. There's nothing better than walking into a presentation and FedEx, the FedEx letter is sitting on their doorstep. They pick it up, open it as you're walking into the presentation. That has happened many times and it gets a really, really good response. So think about that. The Christie's Magazine. Um, again, you know what to do. Put a letter in it, drop it off at uh, your wherever, wherever you could prospect for warm, solid leads. Um, your, your doctor's office, law office, divorce attorney's office, wherever you want to drop that magazine off that you feel would be good for sourcing new leads, take it there. There We only order 200 of those for, for the company. Um, the current issue that is in your office now, I actually took out the first, very first page in it and bound a letter about Harry Norman in it. So it's branded to Harry Norman. Those magazines will run out really quickly. So grab copies of those and get them out. Don't worry about them if there are back issues because they are really beautiful and the content is so evergreen that it's, you know, if you can grab a couple, you know, a couple issues back, get it out to your clients and, um, you know, utilize that. Also talk about the advertising in the magazine. Uh, consider that as well. Um, social media PR feature opportunities. Christie's is always, are always looking for content. Because we are exclusive affiliates of Christie's International Real Estate, no one else in Atlanta um, has a, the same affiliation, just Harry Norman. They will always feature us when we ask. And I, I ride them very hard. Um, I am your, your, your protector and your provider when it comes to Christie's. I fight with them you know, really hard to get us coverage, and we do. If you have a prop, if you go into their um, feature opportunity page on on uh, their website, and you see that they've got um, an equestrian estate, or they're looking for homes with exotic features, or mountain views, or whatever it is, um, and that doesn't align with your property specifically, send, either upload that to the, to the page, to their site, or send me an email with that, because a lot of times, they'll create a feature around the listing. They're always looking for ideas, so if you've got a house that has a mini, a mini, uh, uh, mini green golf course around it, or it's got a panic room, or it's got a rock climbing wall inside of it, or whatever the crazy feature is, they'll create a feature around it. I, a couple of years back, Patty Webb had a property with um, a historic greenhouse on it. And um, I sent that to them and said, look, this, this house has a hundred year old greenhouse on property, juxtaposed to a beautiful multi-million dollar modern glass house. And it was, it, was, it was feature gold and they created a feature around it. And it became a global feature with seven other properties from around the world, and it went onto their blog and in their newsletter. So you got to send, you got to communicate um, with us, so we'll help you out. Okay. Digital media and Facebook advertising, like Luxury Portfolio, they offer uh, very affordable paid 
um, media opportunities to be on digital media uh, for uh, digital media campaigns where it's targeted, geo-targeted campaigns, and then Facebook advertising through Christie's as well. It's as low as $99 a week. I think they offer up to 10,000 impressions per week. If you're going to do these programs, don't do it just for a week. You're going to get nothing out of just of a week. You need to run that for the, the recommended time is about four to six weeks. So I would budget for that. You're going to want to run it for that length of time to really get a good response. Um, because $99 for one week is just going to get it out there for your clients. If you really want to generate leads and traffic, you're going to have to have a frequency of that. So um, I've included links to all these topics in this presentation. These are all available in, in the Luxury Affiliate Resource Guide for you guys to get to as well. So check those out. Christie's, this is more about them. These are their social handles. I, didn't know, I don't know if you know this or not. Uh, Christie's has a Christie's Auction House Instagram account, which is amazing. They do a luxury living, which is about um, editorial Instagram account. They do a wine for their wine a department uh, Instagram account. Go in there and look at those different accounts and follow them and pull content from them. Those are incredible. Um, this post right here, which I don't know if you can hear this or not, this is a for, um, Jeff Coons. They did a, they did a um, Jeff Coons auction last year with those balloon dogs, those multicolored balloon dogs. This balloon rabbit here, that rabbit right there sold for $95 million. And it is literally about a foot and a half tall. So they are really, they are really paired up with the world's most extreme, wealthy, high-end, high net worth individuals um, that can spend $95 million on an object like that. To your right here in this luxury to find, that's the Leonardo da Vinci. Um, uh, um, piece of art that sold for $450 million, highest piece of art that's ever sold by about $200 million. Um, so putting that in perspective here, they really truly have their grasp on who and what the wealthy are wanting and are doing, and they do a great job. So sign up for their blog, get their magazines, look through it. You know, they, they have a digital issue of the magazine if you can't get a copy of it. Put it on your website, put it in your blog, send it to your clients, cut out articles from the magazine and share them about wine and about travel or interior design or fashion. You know, they do a beautiful job. So, um, and we advertise in the magazine, like I said, so, so our ad will be in there. And that may not be your listing, but at least Harry Norman is in that publication, okay? So take advantage of that. All right, Lisa, here we are. <laughs> so Lux VT program, these are um, additional resources that um, we offer. I, um, uh, they are, well, not leading our read. Lux VT, let's talk about that first. Uh, Lux VT is a program that is third party. We have nothing to do with Lux VT. They're a third party company. But I, when I started well, six years ago, uh, they came to me right off the bat. They had just started. I found interest in them and I found, I found a need for a gap filler marketing program and for two reasons if your property is below the million dollar threshold and your clients are like well you know I really want to be on the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times or the Herald Tribune or uh, these those those websites or they want to you know get more global exposure this program builds a landing page for you your property address of so 532pacesferry.com becomes the, ad the property address, which can then go on marketing collateral, property stuff, social media, newsletters, your, your signature and your email. They send traffic reports. They do a ton of stuff. What it is, it's a pay it close program. They build the program for you. So you send them your high res images and your copy. So the threshold I believe is now, if the property is $750,000 below, you pay a setup fee, which I think right now is like $95. It's really cheap to do it. Um, and then you pay, um, I think it's $700 at close. If your property does not close or it goes off the market, you don't pay for it. Um, but, or, and it stays active for the lifetime of your listing. And you're able to go in and edit it um, quite a few times throughout the lifetime of the listing. Um, if it's $750,000 $750, plus, um, there's a higher investment on that. I think it's like $1,000 for that. So it's not very much for what they do. If you were to look at all the deliverables over the lifetime of the listing, it's, it can be upwards of $10,000 plus of advertising that they do for you, if not more, that um, you can do. So two things. It is a gap filler between the $500 to $1 million plus uh, for marketing. 
or if the listing is at you know six months or a year and your clients are getting scratchy and they're considering not relisting with you, you can use that as a reactivation type campaign for the investment. So it's really a good program. The link um, is here on the presentation. It's also in my h &R office under the My Links box on the right-hand side um, under LuxVT. It is a landing page that I had built out by them with a Harry Norman uh, negotiated rate. So if you were to go to them outside of Harry Norman, you would get a much, much higher rate. Um, which is why they love working with us because you know we we do work with them very nicely and they do beautiful work. So look into that. Um, Leading RE, we said earlier, your listings are already, already going to be on their websites. Um, they do offer a, a property feature property program that's newish newish with them. Um, that I believe the threshold is four hundred ninety nine thousand dollars for a six month digital package of. A bunch of things. I, there's a, there's a lot of deliverables that they do, um, from social media marketing to targeted ads, drop down boxes, um, premium placement on their website. I think it also is uh, premium placement at, on luxuryportfolio.com. Luxury portfolio is their luxury arm of leading RE. So the property would have to be at a million dollars, of course. But there's a lot of stuff that they do. I think it's three ninety nine um, one time for that. So if you really want to just, if you're looking for a digital package, you don't want to shop around, you're not super sure, they do a really good job with that as well. Um, our affiliate luxury portfolio and leading RE, again, are really big real estate brands. They're not real estate houses, but they're online platforms that throw a lot of money at online um, or, or online SEO. So um, it's really something to consider and very affordable. Um, also, too, really quickly on Leading RE, they do a lot of uh, pull a lot of great content. You may have been receiving the emails from them, but they do a great job of marketing market updates and stats. Stephanie Anton, she's the president, her and Paul Boomsma, um, he's the CEO. They do weekly video chats with um, different agents and, and brokers and around the world. I'm working on getting Jenny on that on a segment coming up soon. Um, but that's great information and it's sound bites. Share it with your clients. You know, a lot of clients have homes all over the world, and they may be talking about properties in other markets that your clients are worried about, especially right now when the economy is kind of in a weird space. So um, look, go, go into Leading RE through the Institute, I think it's called Access, where you went to find this, um, this class, and um, look at some of their, um, their content. It's really good, and share it, all right? It's all, about, it's all about communication. That's all it's about, and you cannot ever communicate enough especially right now when clients are really worried about what's going on. You know, there's a lot of positive spins, a spin on what's happening that they may want to um, they may take comfort in. So any questions on that? No questions? Okay, I, we're running a little bit over, but I think we're still doing good. I'm about done, okay? So just hang tight for me one, one more time. My presentation keeps running a little long. Oh, this is the last time. Um, our luxury affiliate resource guide. This is what it looks like. It's accessible to you, you guys through many various places. Um, I'm going to skip that. It'll, it'll pull it up. It should there go. Boom. All right. We're working today. That's good. It's gonna be a good weekend. Um, this guide is available in my office. There's a box on the main page, I think, for it. Um, I update it all the time because it because it's just it's ever growing and rolling. Um, this actually may not be the most current one, I apologize, but it's just page by page of um, you know, what our luxury affiliate price thresholds are. This page right here, this is golden, and I have a packet. If you, you're going to get on your sales meetings, I just wrote the slide today, I'm giving you a preview of that. On Tuesday, your sales meetings, I just went through my h &R office and threw everything in the trash in my luxury marketing folder and updated a whole bunch of stuff. This sheet here specifically is in under the luxury brief comparison folder, I think. And it's like five sheets of different things. This is golden for you because it shows you who has what affiliation and who doesn't. So Harry Norman has six affiliations. We have the most. We have all of them. You can't, there's no more out there. Um, Sotheby's has luxury real estate. Um, Beecham has uh, luxury portfolio, uh, luxury uh, leading RE and luxury real estate. Dorsey Austin, so forth and so on. Ansley has uh, this is not the newest one. They have luxury portfolio leading RE now. Um, Brooks Rathaway has luxury real estate. The box below, which lists Compass, Keller Williams, um, Hirsch, 
Ingle Volker, Cobble Banker, well, they have nothing. They don't have any affiliation, so they're kind of on their own, which is why I wanted to highlight them at the bottom, just for you to be aware of. And um, it's, it, this is a slide that you can or can't share with your client, but it does really show why we're on top, literally. So keep that in mind. Um, we keep on going through the guide, just some great, great content. There's prices, dates, and rates in here, deadlines, more information about July. So go into this guide. This is not the newest version, unfortunately. I apologize again. But um, this is a great guide to how to do everything that everything that was in this presentation, the how-to is in this guide. Um, and you know, of course, I'm available to help you if you need any additional assistance. But um, you know, again, this we've got great resources for you guys. And um, you know, I really want to you know, impress upon you right now, you're not alone. We've got some really great stuff for you. We're here to help you, and um, you know I'm your resource. I've been that for years, and I'm that moving forward. And I'm always here and happy to help. 